Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the Clifton Strength Finder Strength of Woo. So, can you woo people over to your position? Can you make connections? This is what Woo is all about. And before we jump into this, just a reminder in the description below is a link to my website, tomlahue.com, where I do offer Enneagram coaching and relationship coaching based on the Enneagram. Um, I also have lots of different courses available, live on Zoom, also on demand. And uh, check out the website. I'd love to interact with you further. So let's let's talk about this Clifton Strength Finder Strength of Woo. Now, this is the last one in the list of uh, the influencing domain. There's four different domains uh, in Clifton Strength Finders: executing, influencing, relationship building, and strategic thinking. And so this is the last one in that list for me to cover in these videos. And Woo is actually a strength I scored really high in. Uh, it's number six on my list of strengths. So out of 34 strengths, it came in number six. And as I read through this and really studied it, I realized, yes, I do this well. And I think my wife as a two also really does this well. So let's describe what is Woo. And I've got my card here, I've got my book, and I've got all my notes. So let's take a second, dive into this, and jump in and see what it says. Woo, it says, is people exceptionally talented in the Woo theme, winning others over. Uh, love the challenge of meeting new people and winning them over. They derive satisfaction from breaking the ice and making a connection with someone. And yes, it can mean winning people over to a position, like think like persuading people, but it's not limited to just persuading people to a position. It may not include that at all. It's really about social interactions and social engagements, the enjoyment of meeting new people and making connections with people. These connections may not be very deep. Okay, it's not like we're making deep, long-lasting friendships here. It's about networking and meeting people and doing that interaction well so that people feel comfortable, people feel uh, you know, like you're hospitable, and people enjoy um, meeting you. Okay, so here's some statements. I will be socially fast and outgoing. So this person probably has a wide network of friends. Uh, when they're at an event, they can move through the crowd and like seamlessly and even gain energy from talking with people and getting to meet people and uh, relating to people. I will take the social initiative. So think if you're in an interaction like a party or a gathering, uh, getting up and just feeling comfortable initiating conversations with people, not standing over by yourself, uh, isolated or introverted away from people, which again, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just we're all different and some people are really good uh, at taking the initiative of meeting other people and feel, you know, like, of course they're going to like me. Of course we're going to have a good interaction. Uh, so there's a confidence that we're going to talk about in a minute. I bring energy to social situations. Probably not only bring energy from social situations, but I probably gain energy from being in those social environments. And realize, not everybody does. Not everybody gets energized by being in big groups and meeting a lot of people or interacting with new people. I need social variability. In other words, I need, I need every day or every other day, I need to get out there and I need to meet people. I need to interact with people. I can't, I don't do well if I'm locked up in my home or locked up for long periods of time by myself or even with the same group of people. <clears throat> I need variability. I love meeting someone I haven't met before. You know, getting to know them, finding out information about them, where they're from, what they're interested in, what they're into, and then, of course, being able to share the things that I'm interested in and being able to talk, uh, probably have something to talk about or subjects that you like to talk about. I hate a static or shrinking social network. Uh, you know, being locked in with a small group and not getting to meet new people. <clears throat> the metaphor is the handshaking politician uh, building their constituency. So getting out there and meeting people like a politician is, is kind of the metaphor for this, this strength. The barrier is this person could be perceived as being phony or being superficial, <clears throat> you know, surface level only, not having a lot of depth and not really uh, being there during dif difficult times, excuse me. 
So Wu is somebody who can build a broad social network, not necessarily like a relator, uh, which is one of the other strengths, somebody who builds a deep social network. Uh, Wu is about winning people over, unlike per perhaps like competition, that strength, which is winning over others, like uh, beating people at, at whatever uh, you're interacting in. Now, let's jump to the uh, book, Strength Finders by Tom Rath, <clears throat> and see what he says and see if we can gain some insight here about what Wu is. Because, you know, even if you don't score high on something like this, this, this is kind of the point of understanding our strengths, but also seeing where we could improve. Seeing, when somebody points out a strength like this, and if you don't feel like you, you score very highly in one of these strengths, you, it's helpful to see that and say, oh yeah, you know, I do notice that other people do these things very well, uh, what can I do to kind of improve this? Lead with your strengths, but also don't allow your weaknesses to, to sabotage you. Like, what can I do to overcome some of these obstacles and grow in these? Because I think we can grow in all of these to some degree. And we're going to talk about that in a minute, how to grow, uh, what you might do if you wanted to develop this strength of Wu a little bit. So Wu stands for winning others over. You enjoy the challenge of meeting new people and getting them to like you. One of the ways to get people to like you is to like them. Uh, and this kind of is intuitively understood by some of us and maybe not so uh, obvious to others. If, if you want people to like you, you have to kind of start by, by liking them or acting toward them in a way that as if you liked them. Strangers are rarely intimidating to people who have the strength of woo. And I remember as a young kid, I had this strength. Um, I just, you know, my brother, who's a one wing nine, really did not have this strength. Um, and he would have a difficult time navigating social interactions. And I would just think, it's so easy. Why, why would you be nervous about talking to a stranger? Why would you be nervous about talking to a cashier, for example? Like, why would that, why would that feel intimidating to you? Or why would that feel off-putting to you? Uh, people like you. People are warm. Be warm and friendly and engaging. It's just It was just inherently understood by me because I believe I'm a type 7, and a lot of 7s are going to score high in the strength of Wu. We'll talk about the Enneagram and this in just a minute. But uh, strangers are energizing, and you tend to be drawn to them, and you strike up conversations. That is, if you feel inclined to. You, you may have your days where you don't, or moments when you don't, where you're exa exhausted, but but as a general rule, you tend to be excited about meeting new people, striking up conversations, and talking about things you're interested in, or learning about the things they're interested in. Uh, and you typically don't run out of things to say or information. And people like me, I tend to read books because I like to talk about all this information. I'm not big on novels, um, you know, and it's difficult for me to make my way through that. It feels like discipline to do that, but I like reading information because I love, I, I'm high in learning, I'm high in input, and I'm high in things like this as well, connection, communication. And so I love information and I love people and I love connecting the two together, which is basically what a teacher does, basically what a teacher is. In many ways, I am a teacher. So not, not only are you rarely have a loss for words, but you actually enjoy initiating with strangers because you derive satisfaction from breaking the ice and making a connection. So there really are no strangers in your life, just people that you haven't met yet, people that you haven't had time to interact with yet. Um, and it's not the same thing as looking for friends. Um, it's very different than looking for friends. I'm not necessarily looking to make a lot of friends. And sometimes people even with a high gift like this, they may not be people who have a lot of friends. I do have a lot of friends, but you may not have a lot of friends when you really think about it. You're just very friendly or very outgoing. And again, that could look very superficial because maybe you have a hard time remembering details about people because it's never really about details. It's about those interactions, about those engaging, exciting interactions of sharing information and feeling a connection with people. So finding common ground with people, and one of the ways to do this is to use humor. Uh, if you're not sure about the interaction, you can always start to move toward humor as a way of breaking the ice or making people feel more at ease or more comfortable. 
and I would say people who are high in this would probably do well in sales, uh, maybe some leadership. It's, it's not too, you know, strategic of counting pennies or counting beans. I think working with people, networking with people, sales, um, getting people to, to buy in together, to be more motivated, and to work together as a team, I think all of these things would be really good for somebody who has a high strength of the strength of woo. Now, let's talk about some of the notes that I've got here about this and go a little bit deeper. So, what is uh, the strength of Wu? Let's, let's just go a little deeper. Social charm. Individuals with Wu are naturally charming and sociable. They enjoy meeting new people and are, are adept at making connections. They have a certain ease about them during social situations and often feel comfortable and energized by those social situations, uh, often thriving in those kinds of environments. Think about like being a realtor, for example, and always meeting new people and walking them through the process. Um, you can see where a strength like this could, or a car salesman, and I don't mean that like as a negative thing, but selling anything. Um, persuasive people, <clears throat> winning people over to your point of view. Think politicians, preachers, teachers, winning people over to your point of view, professors, getting them excited about a project, getting them excited or interested about things uh, that maybe they wouldn't have been interested in otherwise. Networking ability, building large circles of acquaintances, infectious energy, enthusiasm and energy are often contagious and you can lift the spirits of others by creating a more positive and engaging environment or atmosphere. And naturally, good at communication. Excellent communication skills, storytelling, using your sense of humor, using your vocal inflection, you know, slowing down, pausing, uh, getting louder. All of these things, you know, make conversation or communication more engaging and interesting. And probably like a high... Uh, tendency to think inclusively, like let's go get people and bring them in and bring them uh, together. So, um, okay, now why would, uh, or what could we do to develop this strength? If maybe it's not in your top 10 or you're even your top 20, is there any hope for you in growing in this? Well, yes, I think, uh, you know, um, practicing conversation with people, making yourself do it, making yourself initiate conversations with strangers on the bus or strangers at the grocery you might think oh tom they don't they don't want to talk to me um well uh, yeah but this is about you growing and so you're you're gonna have to start somewhere and maybe making yourself strike up conversations with people developing active listening skills working on learning more about body language like trying to uh, practice making eye contact with people, smiling more. Smiles break the ice. Smiles make people feel comfortable. Uh, becoming, think about like what makes you see someone as more approachable uh, or more engaging. And then uh, think about the body language that person has. That relaxed, comfortable, casual, smiling, warm body language. And just Imitate that. Just try to do that with people. Um, I think working on your own confidence about yourself. Um, mastering something. Mastering some kind of information. Maybe it's health or nutrition or maybe it's some religious topic or some bit of American history or whatever it is. Uh, all of this kind of stuff. The Enneagram and uh, you know self-help information. Is there something that you feel confident and knowledgeable about? Maybe you could steer the conversation to that thing that you feel comfortable about. And when you're talking about something that you're comfortable about, you're going to appear more comfortable with people. And that's what Woo is all about, about being comfortable with people and making them feel comfortable around you. Okay, learning how to handle rejection if people don't find you all that engaging. Uh, studying social dynamics and enhancing your your ability to tell stories and think about, you know, what makes stories engaging. Do a little research on storytelling and punchlines and maybe practice telling jokes to people. Uh, be genuinely interested in people. 
you know, think about talking to people as though you're a reporter and you're investigating them and their life and their story and what they're interested in, where they're from, what their background is, where they grew up and all of those kinds of things. And, and then obviously developing a good sense of humor. You know, uh, becoming a little more self-deprecating, not taking yourself so seriously, being able to laugh at yourself and your story. Um, who would naturally be good at the strength of Wu, according to the Enneagram? Well, probably some people are coming to your minds, and this isn't going to be, you know, a 100% true. This is probably a mostly true list. All right, so obviously I would say type sevens like myself. Um, might score really high in the strength of Wu. I think threes, especially three wing twos, um, you know, those ENFJs, uh, ENFP sevens, ENFJ uh, three wing twos would probably score really high in Wu. Uh, twos, by and large, uh, probably more two wing threes, but twos in general, I think, are warm and friendly and outgoing and can be very engaging and like to connect with people. I think a lot of eights, a lot of eight wing sevens in particular, uh, could be uh, very high in this, moving people and persuading people. And even some six wing sevens, I think could be really warm and friendly, uh, probably those self-preservation sixes as well. And I'm not saying the other types couldn't be, but I would say that's the first ones that come to my mind. Now, um, how, why would this be challenging for people? Why would this strength be off-putting and you think, oh, wow, I'm really low on this and, you know, this just feels uncomfortable to me. Why would, why would this uh, strength be challenging for some of us? Well, I think a lot of us are introverted and natural introversion is going to make it difficult for you to feel comfortable engaging with a lot of people. And, you know, introverts lose energy when they interact with people. Extroverts gain energy interacting with people. So I think introverted people could have a hard time with this. There's a lot of social anxiety. A lot of people struggle with social anxiety. They get overwhelmed. They get uh, nervous, get anxious, or get... Uh, uncomfortable in large groups or with lots of new people. So people that struggle with social anxiety. I think those who have a, sort of a lack of confidence about them or confidence uh, in general, being around people, self-doubt and low self-esteem could hinder people's ability to engage confidently with others. Um, and, you know, you may not have that self-assurance that uh, uh, would make it easier to interact with people. Fear of rejection could be a reason why people might struggle with this. The risk of not being received well and facing rejection, if you've been rejected in the past, could deter you from attempting, um, attempting the kind of outgoing persuasive interactions that are characteristic of the strength of Wu. Uh, limited social skills. If you didn't grow up learning good social skills, not everybody has developed good social skills. And difficulty in reading social cues, a lot of fives could struggle with this. And anybody who's on the spectrum could struggle with reading social cues, conversing with strangers, not knowing how to engage with an audience, the stage fright and feeling nervous you know, in front of people, uh, overthinking could be a real challenge and that's why some sixes might have a hard time with this because wondering how are they perceiving me? Uh, am I looking like an idiot? I probably look like I don't know what I'm talking about. This person doesn't like me. They don't want to be around. And overthinking, you know, hearing those voices louder than hearing the voice of the person you're talking to could really undermine your ability to make connections and meet new people. So what a great strength. I'm, I, I'm so glad that I'm wired to have this as part of my natural strength. And, um, and uh, hopefully, you know, again, I've got lots of other ones that I'm not doing very well in. So we've all got room to grow. It just feels good to talk about one that comes more naturally to me. Uh, but uh, uh, all of us, let's work on it. Let's 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 make the the uh, the the challenge to grow, to lead with our strengths, but not to allow our weaknesses to to really undermine us. Let's know what our weaknesses are and not let them sabotage us. And make a commitment to grow and work on these. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys. Uh, as always, be present to life.